Bernardina Beach to Franklin Town and beyond, fishing on Amelia Island is something every angler, beginner, or expert should experience. That's why today we'll give you the inside scoop on top catches, best spots to cast your line, and when to head out. But before you do, be sure to like and subscribe to stay up on all our latest angling videos. When it comes to fishing on Amelia Island, there are plenty of options available. If you're sticking to inshore waters, you're in luck. The island is surrounded by estuaries, marshes, grass flats, and oyster bars that provide the ideal habitat for many of Florida's main inshore headliners. These include redfish, black drum, spotted sea trout, flounder, sheep's head, and many more. Though these fish are typically available year round, the best times to go after a combination of all of them are typically in the fall and spring months. Moving a bit further off the coast, you can go after one of the tastiest bottom dwellers on this side of the Atlantic, Red Snapper. Head out during the open season in June or July and you can land some impressive sizes over artificial reefs and wrecks. And for all you big game fanatics, you'll be able to target the likes of Kingfish, Wahoo, Cobia, Mahi Mahi, and many more. Just keep in mind the best way to ensure a successful day, especially in deeper waters, is by heading out with an experienced guide. You can book an Amelia Island fishing charter by going to fishingbooker.com or downloading the app. But before you do, be sure to keep watching to find the best spots to go fishing on Amelia Island. Now that you know what to catch, let's take a look at where to cast a line from. Luckily, Amelia Island has plenty of excellent spots for land-based fishing. Starting off on the northern end of the island, Fernandina Beach is full of prolific areas that are perfect for family outings, including Fort Clinch State Park and Egan's Creek Greenway. Moving all the way to the southern tip of the island, you can't miss out on fishing at Amelia Island State Park. Moving a bit further off the coast, you've got nearshore artificial reefs and wrecks that are fantastic for bottom fishing. Keep traveling out into deeper waters and you'll hit the Gulf Stream, where you'll troll for some of the East Coast's largest pelagics. And even further out, you'll be able to fish over the Continental Shelf, which is located about 60 miles offshore. Of course, for these harder to reach waters, you'll need a well-equipped offshore boat and knowledgeable crew to ensure a safe and successful day on the water. So far, we've covered where to go and what to catch. Now, let's go over some of the various ways to go fishing on Amelia Island. We've talked about how charter fishing is your best option if you plan on exploring deeper waters. Another huge advantage of fishing on a private charter is the experienced crew whose main goal is to make sure you have a successful day. This includes finding the best spots, putting you on fish, and providing top-notch gear and expertise that will help you land the fish of your dreams. Another excellent way to explore the local waters, especially inshore, is kayak fishing. You've got guides and rental services throughout the island that will take you on the adventure of a lifetime. Then of course, last but not least, is shore fishing. Hitting up a beach or a pier on Amelia Island can produce some excellent catches for a skilled angler or it can provide hours of fun and relaxation for someone just trying to escape the daily grind. No matter how you plan on fishing on Amelia Island, you won't go wrong. But before you do, let's take a look at some of the important rules and regulations. First things first, whether you're fishing from land or boat, you'll need to obtain a fishing license. However, you won't have to worry about that if you plan on fishing with a charter since the captain's license covers everyone on board. Your captain will also make sure you're catching within your limits and respecting any closed seasons. For more information on Florida fishing licenses, as well as other rules and regulations, be sure to read our full blog article or check out myfwc.com for the most up-to-date info. When you're ready to check out Amelia Island for yourself, download the Fishing Booker app or visit us online. You'll be able to browse and compare charters, read customer reviews, and book your trip in just a few taps. So what are you waiting for? Head over to the App Store or go to fishingbooker.com to start planning your Amelia Island fishing adventure today.